Switzerland, not just a country, but a federation, a collection of 26 states called cantons. What sets them apart and what makes them alike? Do you know? Now's your chance to find out. Today we're gonna talk about Turgau. Hello, and welcome to 7 Facts. Turgau is a northeastern Swiss canton, less than 1,000 square kilometers in size and home to 280,000 people. Most are German speakers, although nearly one-fifth of the people are actually foreigners. While not very well known outside the country, Turgau is very well known within Switzerland for its apple orchards, pears and the ciders that are made from them. Wine is also an abundant product in Turgau, so this really is a food and liquor basket of the nation. But this is all the boring stuff. Let's explore a bit more and find out what this canton really has to offer. Inhabited since prehistoric times, the lands of Turgau were once upon a time part of the Roman province of Rhetia. That all came to an end in 450 AD when the Alemanni Germans came in and slowly Germanized the local population. It appeared as a political unit in the 8th century and passed on between several dukes and counts, including the famous Habsburgs. In 1460, Turgau was seized from them and became a subject of the Swiss Confederation. But it wasn't until 1798 that Turgau became a canton and a fully-fledged member of the Helvetic Republic and later the new Swiss Confederation. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored, none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Right, with that said, let's go to fact number 3. Frauenfeld is the capital city of Turgau. First mentioned as a nightly village in 1246, Frauenfeld quickly grew to become a major urban center. It's got all the perks of a Swiss city, like beautiful historic buildings, a castle, museums, calm streets and charming parks. And I bet you would never have guessed that Frauenfeld is also the host of Europe's largest hip-hop festival, the open-air Frauenfeld. Celebrities like Eminem, Ludacris, Snoop Dogg or Jay-Z played at this festival, which by the way is a yearly event, so time to book your ticket? An absolutely wonderful and unique experience awaits you in Turgau, the Bubble Hotel. The Himmelbett Bubble Hotel offers you the opportunity to sleep in the midst of gardens, orchards and vineyards beneath the starry night sky. If you're not a big fan of camping but would still like to enjoy nature, this might be for you. You get to sleep in a transparent, air-conditioned bubble in a nice cozy bed in the middle of nature. Peaceful, calm, green. It looks like a paradise canton. For cyclists and hikers, it truly is. The lush green hills of the southern banks of Lake Constance are ideal for hikers and cyclists and authorities know that. So they built 1000 kilometers of hiking trails and 900 kilometers of cycling paths crisscross the canton. Nature lovers can hike well-beaten paths and discover the region's natural gems. It might not sound like much, until you get there and see it for yourself. Ok, good food, nice landscapes, great cities. You kinda expect to find these things anywhere in Switzerland. Wanna know what you don't expect to see? Camels. Freaking camels. But Turgau has got them. The Kamelhof Olmerswil is an adventure farm in Neukirch, where you get to see, feed and ride camels and llamas, goats, cats, dogs, ferrets and reptiles. Um, you can't ride all of them, of course. This is an experience you'll get to brag about for years, so, you know, don't miss out. Last but not least, we have to mention Conyland, a small amusement park with lots of rides and a big roller coaster. This is considered to be one of Europe's best amusement parks and it kinda is. It's got slides, bumper cars, cable cars, bouncy castles, parrots, sea lions and a bunch of other stuff. You may not have heard of it, but this is one of the best places to have fun in Switzerland. So in essence, Turgau really seems to be a magnet for tourists. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. 
I hope to see you next time. Bye.